Hello everybody, this is Sabin Dimitrov or Adins for the Astral. It's a pleasure to have a pleasure to be with you guys today and have you guys here watching my video. Uh, this is going to be um, a cool product that I've been meaning to get for a while now, but they would always, you know, uh, be more expensive. So this is a, uh, you know, so this is actually a really cool one. I'm really glad that, you know, I was able to get it for cheap. This is a uh, wireless keyboard that has a trackpad on it. So that way you don't have to carry a separate mouse with you. And this keyboard will be good with most applications. And because I am a tech geek, I love stuff like this. So we're going to open up, up this bad boy and uh, see how, how it looks. Also, did you guys um, ever hear about that movie coming out, Turning Red, or something like that, or Going Red, about that giant panda that's actually a girl who turns into a giant panda? <sighs> Give me a second. But yeah, so apparently... Uh, there is this uh, movie about a giant panda girl, and I'm actually interested in seeing it. Hmm. There we are. You know, I tossed that bag, and look at where look where it landed. It landed in the recycling bag. I wish I caught that on YouTube. What it did is that it went, it went across the wall, flew up like this, and then went like that. That's pretty cool. Like I said, I need to uh, do more trick shots because apparently those get a lot of views on uh, YouTube. All right. So. This is a Artec Electric Company, and yeah, you can uh, claim your warranty at their uh, freaking website. Certified frustration free packaging. Well, let's see if this is actually truly uh, frustration free. As you guys can see, this is, this is Artec. Come on, you stupid camera. What's going on with the camera? There we go. So this is a 2.4 G USB touch keyboard, and this is uh this is the uh, the model number if I number num number if I remember right. And uh, let's see how truly frustrating free this package is. That's so far pretty easy. That's pretty easy. That's solid. I actually love that. That is quite solid. And look at how nice the packaging is. Like, it's simple, and yet it's straight to the point, and it is packaged really nice. Oh, look at that. It even comes with, with these little things, too. Oh, interesting. So this is good or bad. This product has two years of warranty. If you have questions using this product or you received a defective product or the product is not as you expect, please feel free to contact us. Please send your order number to below email address to get two years warranty support. Oh, okay, so they can actually give you automatic, you know, uh, warranty. So I just have to uh, tell them what my order number is. And this is if it's good. We're, we're just happy that you like the product. We suggest as below for your happiness. Enjoy the fun from your new mate. Keyboard mate, right? Uh, share your experience with the Amazon review. Connect with us on uh, eartech.com. Follow us on Facebook, artech.fans, for U.S. region and all that. Okay, that's actually really cool. You know, a lot a lot of companies need to do this because 
it's it's just such a simple and kind of personable way to you know uh you know help people with their product because if you ever give someone an accidental defective product they they, they, they the, 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 the small thing you can at least do is make it easy for them to help figure out what's going on, you know? Oh, fascinating. So this is a Japanese brand. That's actually really cool. But yeah, so this is the uh, the user manual. And as you guys can see, all this stuff. Thank you for choosing the uh, Artec... HW197 wireless touch keyboard to ensure optimum performance and safety. Please read these instructions carefully before operating this product. It is strongly recommended you keep this manual for future reference. Yeah, so this tells you all the the, uh, the different things that uh, that um, it's about this product. So that is actually really kind of cool. I'm just slowly going over this so you guys can study this product as well. You guys can like pause the video whenever you guys wish. You know, there I, you know, you know people need to do this a lot more often because you know, it only takes a few seconds in the video just to do this and then you know, it can save people so much trouble because what a lot of people out there do is that they don't want to help the company do well. They want to kind of act all entitled and demand the company goes through their own special wants and stuff. And it's really dumb. It's really effing dumb. So, you know, sometimes a review, you know, a first time review, sometimes you just got to be nice and just go with the company and help the company. Wow. Look at all that. Look how shiny that is. That is a very well well built keyboard. Little pull tab around here. Right. There it goes right here. Like a glove. Wow. Metal too. That feels really nice. I love track pads. And this would actually be a fantastic keyboard to like, you know, uh, you know. Hmm. That feels really nice. And, you know, it, it, um, it has a semi-tactile response to it, which I actually really enjoy. And there's all these different little functions for, like, for your products, and that's actually really, really neat. That's actually solid. Like, this is actually really, really solid. And then for this... Oh, look at that. There we go. Okay, so that's actually quite solid. So as you guys can see, there's a little tab. Oops. Oh, yeah, how many batteries does this take? Okay, so it only takes two. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, okay. I see what you mean. Okay, yeah. So, it, it tells you how this is supposed to go. Usually, it's the other way around. So, that's actually kind of cool. And then, as it, as it says, said on the... Uh... Oh, here you are. See? It's the on and off switch. So, they actually give you batteries with this product. And look at that! Like, this is really nice. See? And then you just pull that bad boy out. That's actually really solid. 
and then you just uh, place this back on. Actually, kind of self-explanatory if you if you get woof self-explanatory if you guys think about it. That's really solid. This is actually really really nice. So then you uh, flip on the switch. Little indicator light should be on there very shortly. Yep, here we are. See, so now it's trying trying to connect. So we're gonna turn this off for a quick second. And I'm gonna gonna take this to my desktop so we can see how this bad boy how this bad boy truly uh truly works. So I'm gonna pause the video right here, guys, and I will be right back. Uh whoops, wrong button. Uh pause it. Okay guys, I am back. So um as I get this set up, I want to give you guys a quick little update. So I got a uh a very uh quick eye appointment yesterday. I was able to go down to uh to a, a, a city at one of the places where uh my eye doctor see me and they were actually extremely happy with uh with um how uh my eye looked. And because of that um because of that um a lot of that fear and worry that I had is gone. And I cannot tell you guys how happy I am about that. Uh, they said that all those weird bubbles and... Wow, give me a second. Shep, 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 shep. There we go. I don't want this to get uh, copyright claimed. That was unintentional. But uh, just to, just to, so you guys know, what, what, what was plain was, can you piss off? Go away. Uh, it was, oh, holy butt pickles. Piss off. <laughs> um, <laughs> give me a quick second, guys. I have to pause the video again. Okay, so the song that that was playing that I was trying to turn off was this one right here. It's Aerial Chord by Surface, and uh, or maybe it's Surface by Aerial Chord, but it's um, it's from Monster Cat. So uh, I don't want you know my video to be muted for some stupid reason, but I assure you guys it is paused and you guys don't have to worry about it. So first of all, get out of here. Second of all, get out of here. Okay, now. As you guys can see, this is all working, and this is plugged in, meaning I can type in whatever I want, blah, 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 and you know, there it is. I can type into that. So, what this beautiful keyboard is supposed to do is make it so that way I don't, I don't have to have a mouse. I can have a keyboard and a mouse together. So, let's freaking try this now, shall we? Hmm? That's pretty nice. But yeah, um, as you guys can tell, I have, I have been uh, working on updating my, uh, my stuff. And I'm very happy with how well all this is going. And, uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's quickly unplug these. And we're going to... Uh, Get that taken care of. So I'm gonna turn my camera over this way because I don't want you guys to exactly kind of, you know, see the inner workings and everything. But I shove that over there, and then ooh, give me two seconds, guys. So that sound was. Both my keyboard and my mouse being shut off. So as you, can, as you guys can see, there's nothing going on. There's no mouse. There's nothing. Nothing being typed up. There's nothing. Alright. So then, what we are going to do is that we're going to plug this little doohickey, this little USB thingy, into my computer. And we're going to turn 
We're going to turn this on as soon as I plug it into the computer. So I'll be right back. There we go. That's beautiful. And then we turn on the awesome keyboard. Boop. And now it's going to be connecting. Woo! Look at that, guys. So you see, I I, I can move, can uh, can move this around. Uh, here. Right. Yeah, we go. Get out of the way. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. This is going to be one of my more derpy videos, but I assure you guys, it's still quality content. Screw normality and screw perfection. So as you, as you guys can see, it's working with my mouse. And there's a small little home function. So I can actually add... Oh. I guess that's for the, uh, the freaking uh, website. Turds. And then, of course, it has these options here, so you can turn up or turn down uh, your uh, your volume. So this one mutes it, unmutes it. This one turns it up. This one turns it down. And that's actually phenomenal. So here, let's go back. Ha-ha! Okay, that's cool. So you hit home. To go to, to, to your browser page, you hit the back button to go back to your thing. It's actually self-explanatory once you figure it out. And this one right here can actually uh, help you right-click things. Or it helps uh, like a little drop-down menu. And this is the little backspace. So you can, re can remove all that. You have all the F1 keys. Look at that, yeah. So as you can see, the alternate functions are already active. So you have to hit uh, FN, this little blue key, to actually activate the other functions. But this one, uh, ooh, what did I just hit? Oh, okay, so this actually activates the music function of your computer. And that's actually really, really cool. So that means you can pull up all the stuff that you want. As you guys can see, Lifescapes, and this is one one of, of my favorite discs. This is something I have seen. Uh, I sorry, this is something that I have listened to for untold years, and I am so happy I have it. But yeah, so the different functions activate the different things on your computer, and unfortunately, I am still trying to get used to this. I still I try to use my mouse instead of you know the the trackpad. So I, I, so as you guys can see, there's the, the there's the insert. So that way you can uh, you know uh, I think the insert is uh, make it so you can track in between each uh, different uh, thing. It's still trying kind of confusing how that works out. This one changes your your display settings. This one is for you to, you to take a screenshot. This one, I don't remember what this one is, but this one is for you to search up something. And yeah, you know, and yeah, this is a play and pause. So this is actually a fantastic keyboard because this will allow you so many different functions. And as you guys can see, it has all the regular stuff. And uh, as you guys can see, um, it um, you can actually do the key binding. But, you know, you can go up and down. You can, uh, and if I remember right, this one should have... Smart, uh... Aha, it does! So as you guys can see, two fingers. And you go go in and out. You zoom in and, in and out with your, uh... Two fingers going like this. Oh! Okay, so three fingers down. Minimize this. Three fingers down again. Un, um, maximizes. That is 
amazing. You know, this is a really cool keyboard. Now, I, I'm I, unfortunate, guys. This is not the best, you know, video because I don't have, you know, um, multiple cameras. But as you guys can see, it works. And, you know, it is amazing how, the, the usefulness of this keyboard. And you can do so much with this keyboard. And, you know, I actually really love this keyboard. This is a fantastic keyboard. And this allows me to do so much. So uh, three fingers on the trackpad down minimizes. You do you do three fingers down the trackpad again. And you maximize it. And then, you know, two fingers moving down the trackpad scrolls down. Two fingers... Two fingers going down scrolls you up, and two fingers uh, going up scrolls you down. I think it's it's like a plane yoke. You pull toward you to go up, and you push down to go. It's confusing, but you guys get what I mean. But yeah, so there's multiple amazing different functions that, you know. Oh, will you look at that. Okay. So this little function here gives you the options to switch your display settings. You hit that, and then it pulls up these. And as you can see, these, the PC screen only, you can duplicate, and uh, you can uh, project, you can extend, or you can do second screen only. So if you have like multiple displays. I plan to get multiple displays, but, you know, right now, you know, money's tight, so I can't do that. You see this little button right here? You hit this one. And this one will actually switch you to, ooh, it's literally a, uh, a alt shift, um, no, a, uh, alt tab key. So you can actually switch in between different things that you are using. And that is amazing. So... Yeah, these key functions are amazing, and I believe this one is a screenshot button. So then you go to your screenshot folder, and that should be there. And then, if, if I remember right, the insert one... Uh, get, oh, whoops. What am I doing? Sorry, guys. I'm so used to using a mouse and a keyboard. I'm still trying to get used to this. So you just do that. Then if you hit insert, that will make it... Weird. That's what I thought insert did. Eh, it's whatever, guys. But yeah, as you guys can see, this is a phenomenal keyboard. I absolutely love it. Setting it up was super easy. This is a fantastic keyboard, and my computer synced up with it immediately. And that is phenomenal. I'm so happy with this keyboard. This is a great keyboard. It's a good keyboard. That um, This, uh makes uh, my life a lot easier for when I need to go uh, mobile. And this keyboard can sync up with anything and everything that takes a USB. So knowing that, you know, you can hook this up to almost anything and it will put down that knowledge of what you need to do onto the device. So as a quick recap, guys, this is a home button. So this takes you uh, to, to your home page. You hit the back button to go, uh, come on, you little turd, oh, there we go, whoa, shut, 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 shut up, shut up, okay, let's try that again, this to go home, as you guys can see, I'm on, I'm on my home page, this to go back, so you guys go back to your previous tab, Gonna go freaking back. What are you doing? Nope, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> okay, it doesn't work all the time sometimes, but as you guys can see, it works most of the time. And, you know, these are the, all the volume buttons, so you can turn down your volume, or you can mute it. And uh, this one pulls up the uh, that, that little extra menu there, and you can use these little arrow keys. 
right here to you know go in between each option or you can hit escape right here to make that go away and uh, let's see if I can do this might be a little easier um, give me a quick second guys let me try this okay that's better okay I'm sorry guys, I feel really stupid that I didn't figure this out sooner. Like I like it is guys, I'm still learning learning about this. So this is to go home. This is to go back to, to your previous thing. Supposed to go back to your previous thing. Shut up. And then And then uh this one is to pop up the, the menu, mute, sound down, sound up. This one uh, is to uh, this, so F one is to put your uh, your uh, your uh, sharp your brightness down, but my TV doesn't have that function like a normal uh, monitor does. This one turns it up, which is F two. Then F three pulls up the, the music function on your computer, and then this one uh, you can uh, so this is the center one that plays. Hold on. Yeah, so you can hit play, and it plays. You can hit forward to skip. You can hit backward to go the to, to go previous, and that is actually really really nice. And then this one here maximizes whatever product you're using oh so this actually uses so you can uh, dual screen stuff that's actually really cool but kind of makes things all awkward but uh, yeah so that's another really cool function get that back up there there we go and you can piss off yeah okay but yeah so that, that's actually a really cool function this one searches up a uh, search bar on 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 your uh, your computer, so you can look up on, on the stuff with that whatever you need, and then this one uh, as it is switches. I can, can tell you which one to do, but we don't need that. So we're gonna go hit escape, and then we're gonna hit this one, and this one allows you to kind of do the automatic Alt Tab, so you can quickly move to different tabs. So this, like I said, guys, this is a, an amazing keyboard, and I absolutely love it. Um, like it is, I wanted I wanted uh, this video to be a, a little bit extra long so you guys can see this keyboard in action, and it is a phenomenal, uh, you know, f phenomenal piece of technology. It's such a simple, simple piece, but it ties together so many functions that a lot of people use. It doesn't have any, have any expensive bells and whistles, but it is everything that you want inside of a product. And as you guys can see, this one, uh, two fingers up makes it go up, two fingers down makes it go down, three fingers down minimizes everything, three fingers down again maximizes everything. Yeah. But yeah, so, uh, and then uh, two fingers in, uh, zooms in, two fingers out, zooms out. So it's actually a really, really cool, um, cool keyboard because this brings in touch uh, pad uh, functions to a computer that does not come with that. And I absolutely would definitely recommend this product. And once you guys are done using it, uh, give me a quick second, guys. As as you guys you guys can hear that my uh, my my computer just uh, uh, I'm uh, sense that being unplugged, and then when when you want to want to put this bad boy away, you hit this bad boy to the side and you shut it off, and then. You pull off this O tab. As you can see, it's actually labeled with that little USB stick. 
Here are, are, are the beautiful batteries. And then uh, this uh, just goes in right there. You put this put, you put this bad boy right back. Oops, almost got it. And there we go. And now this bad boy is ready ready for transit and for use anywhere. And this is phenomenal for like like the gamer on the go or for the person that has like a workplace desktop because you don't want to have to deal with all those cords. You don't want to have to deal with all that garbage and BS. You have yourself a very sleek, very shiny, a professional looking keyboard that goes with your um, goes with your setup. You, you, you have a TV or, like, or a monitor. You have your nice little keyboard, and you can keep things professional, yet still fun and easy to use. So I would definitely recommend this wonderful product. And now let's go back to my initial viewing area. All right, up you go. Nope, oh, wrong one. And then we just uh, tip this bad boy back. There we go. And you guys can see why why the essential functionality of this uh, tripod makes my videos so much better. So that way I can do things like this and tell you guys how things work without having to make the video so crappy. So I just really want to thank you guys for joining me on this fun video. It's kind of long. It's kind of janky. It has breaks in the video because I had to pause it. But, you know, it gets to the point and it shows you guys a solid, well-built product. Now, did I leave the, uh, the manual over there? I think I might have left the manual over there. No, I did not. Where did I put it? Well, anyway, uh, give me two seconds. Okay, I'm back. My apologies, guys. Oh, and uh, great news. I actually got a, uh, a app on my phone, which I'm recording from, that will allow me to edit my videos to make them a little bit better. Now, I'm going to pretty much just, you know, upload this as raw footage so you guys can kind of see behind the scenes of what I do. Because, you know, sometimes you like to see the inner workings of how people do things. I try to keep things straight and simple, and I can move stuff around when it's needed. But yeah, so as you guys can see, this is a user manual manual for the Artec uh, HW197 Wireless Touch Keyboard. And I gotta tell you guys, this is a fantastic product. And I will definitely be putting this beautiful, shiny, I think it's aluminum construction. Feels really nice. This beautiful, shiny keyboard to good use. This is a fantastic keyboard. It's lightweight. It's very sleek. It actually feels, uh, feels pretty sturdy for its lightweight design. And I am actually very happy with happy with this. It's unfortunate that it doesn't have a rechargeable, you know, lithium ion battery, but you at least have the ability to carry extra batteries with you in case stuff goes sideways. And besides, uh, what it doesn't have in the lithium ion uh, ca ca capacity, you have the, t the trackpad, so that removes the need for extra batteries for a mouse. This is a fantastic keyboard, it's low energy output, so it'll last you a long time, and it is a fantastic and beautiful, uh, a fantastic and beautiful product. And I would definitely recommend uh, this uh, in, if you guys are ever on the go. So yes, this has been a very good experience, and I really hope that they see this so they can you know see that the product is helping make people's lives a little bit better like me and you know 
Uh, that way, you know, if you are ever, you know, if your computer is like way off in freaking Narnia, but your 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 but you know your stuff is like uh, your monitor somewhere else, this will actually put you know cables and stuff in the past because you can be around a wall or you can you know go a certain distance and not have to worry about people tripping over your cord. It's great for presentations. It's great for pretty much everything you can think of. It is a fantastic keyboard. So I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video walkthrough of of this beautiful product. Uh, you know, um, this has been you know Sabin Dimitrov coming to you uh, with with this uh, wonderful keyboard, and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, like it is, it was, it, was, it was kind of a long video. Nowhere near as good as uh, Crazy Russian Hackers, but you know what? It's fine, you know. This is a uh, kind of a fun, silly, derpy channel. doesn't need to be be professional. But yeah, um, you know, I, I look up to uh, to, uh, to Taurus because, you know, he, his video has kind of got me into doing stuff like this. And, you know, he has a great channel. You guys check it out. You know, it's called Crazy Russian Hacker. Fantastic guy, um, you know. And it, I mean, it's always so fun seeing him, his life journey over the many years he's been on YouTube. But yeah, so this is the beautiful Artec keyboard, and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I would recommend you guys get this product as it is cheap, it is efficient, and it is solid construction and built for functionality and not bells and whistles or looks. But yeah, um, this has been Ben, ben Sabin Dimitrov, aka uh, Adinsfo the Astro Wolf, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys stay awesome, and God bless.